Okay, so now that we know that the circuit's critically damped, so really the two interesting things are here, alpha and omega. They're the same. So if I were to try to find the roots for the for the equation, S1 and S2 would be the same, which is minus alpha plus minus square root of uh, alpha squared minus omega naught squared, and this is zero. And therefore, I have two roots are at minus alpha. And so the solution, which is my, my number four, is the voltage on the capacitor at T. This is the first time that I'm actually writing the solution to the circuit is K1E to the minus 500T plus K2T E to the minus 500T. So this is from math 214. Um, when you have two repeated roots, this one gets multiplied by T. And so this is the answer for 4. And maybe we can already find K1 and K2 using the initial conditions. Given that I have the voltage on the capacitor, I'm going to go for this and this. These are the two initial conditions I'm going to use. So watch. Vc of 0, I know that is 100 volts. And if I use 0 here and 0 here, this gives me just K1. So basically, I have K1 as 100, and I'm going to use the second initial condition to find K2. So K1, I already know, uh, is 100, but I'm going to do dV dt. And I'm going to do the derivative of this, which is minus 500 K1e to the minus 500t plus K2e to minus 500t, because I did the derivative of this, plus K2t times minus 500 times the exponential of minus 500t. So this is the usual way of doing the derivative. And I'm going to use the zero here. So dv dt at zero I had found to be minus 0.5 10 to the 6. K1 I know is 100. And I'm going to use all this at zero. So this gets out. This term here, because t is zero, is out of the game. And now I only have minus 500 times k1. k1 equals 100, so times 100, plus k2. So this is minus 50 times 10 to the 4. And this is minus 50 10 to the 3, plus k2. So k2 equals minus 500 plus 50 10 to the 3. So this is my 500 here. K2 equals minus 4, 50, 10 to the 3. So this completely determines my voltage on the capacitor. So I'm going to write here, maybe in black, my final voltage on the capacitor that's not yet really the answer to the question, which is 100 e to the minus 500t minus 450 10 to the third t e to the minus 500t volts. Now watch, this is just the voltage of the capacitor. In the next video, I'm going to write the final answer to this problem.